One method that you can use to separate heterogeneous mixtures, which are mixtures that are not uniform throughout, is filtration. And what you'll need for filtration is filter paper, some kind of mixture that's heterogeneous, scissors, and a beaker. And mixtures of a solid and liquid are poured through the filter paper, and the liquid passes through the paper while the solid stays in the paper, and that's how they become separated. So the first thing, or this method is often used to find the mass of a product created, but the product might be mixed with another product of the reaction. So we're going to act as if um, we're finding the mass of a solid produced, even though there's liquid present. So the first thing you should do is tear the filter paper and weigh it so that you know the weight of the solid plus the paper. So walk over to the scan. Thanks for watching. In case you have any other questions. Okay, so you turn on the scale. Balance. Make sure it said zero. Okay, so you place the filter paper on and record the weight of it, which is 0 0.96 grams. The filter paper is a circle, so if you need to fold it so that it fits into this funnel, which then fits into this beaker. So you fold it in half once, making a half circle, making sure that you crease it, and then fold it in half one more time. It now looks like this. So you place it inside of the funnel like this. And then don't pick right here, but grab one of these other folds so that there's no hole or creases that the water or the solid could get through. And push it down into the funnel so that it'll stay. If the filter paper doesn't really stay in the funnel well, you can use this DI water to make sure it does stay. So set it inside of the beaker and just get it a little wet so that it stays in place like this. And now it's time to actually pour your, heterog your heterogeneous mixture into the funnel and filter paper. So slowly so that it doesn't overflow or anything, pour the mixture in. Once the entire mixture is separated and you only have sand in the filter paper, um, you have to wait overnight for it to dry before you can weigh it because you can never place anything wet on the balance. So to do that, simply, since we're only weighing the salad here, we can just pour out the liquid portion and set this somewhere like under the fume hood to dry overnight and then you can come back, remove the filter paper and weigh the, pro the solid product and the filter paper once it's dry. Yeah. After you waited for the filter paper and the solid to dry, you can take it out of the you can take it out of the funnel in the beaker and weigh it. So again, make sure it says 0, 0.00 grams. Set it on. So the mass of the paper plus the solid is 4.11 grams. So then the final step in this. Evidently, the light one is. It's to take 4.11 grams minus 0 0.96 grams. 